Tonight's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. Good evening and welcome to the 76th annual Texas Cavaliers River Parade brought to you by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel. We are here in beautiful downtown San Antonio along the Riverwalk in the Arneson Theater to finally bring you a parade for Fiesta 2021. Good evening, thanks so much for being here. I'm Myra Arthur. And I'm David Sears and the parade, the festivities of Fiesta cannot officially start until now. <laughs> Viva Fiesta. It has been two long years since we've been able to do this here sitting at the Arneson River Theater waiting for the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. And of course, the pandemic affected so many people, so many organizations, so many activities over the last couple of years, but it did not slow down the Texas Cavaliers. No, they were able to continue what they do best, and that is taking care of the kids here in San Antonio. And of course, last year's parade canceled because of the pandemic. It is back this year, the only one of Fiesta 2021, but the Texas Cavaliers didn't want you to miss out on what they had planned for 2020. And so of course, they, they decided to stick with that. So they're bringing back, this is the theme, 2020 vision. Of course, that theme has a focus, and that focus is all the kids in our community. Plus, this year they are also recognizing all the first responders here in San Antonio and South Texas. One big goal of the Cavaliers is giving back to the community by supporting children's charities throughout the city of San Antonio. But another way they're also giving back is by honoring first responders the night of the River Parade. In 2011, the Texas Cavaliers, a group of Cavaliers, thought it'd be a good idea to honor the first responders uh, at the River Parade by throwing a party for them. The Cavaliers have three big programs. They have the Children's Program, the Military Program, and the First Responders Program, each of which hosts a party for those individual groups every year. With what the world went through this past year, the Cavaliers felt it was more important than ever to honor those on the front lines. You know, as, as all of us were learning how to set up at home, uh, Zoom calls, technology, uh, trying to figure out how, how to get groceries without going to the store. Our first responders were getting up every day and going to work to make sure that we had a safe environment. They're protecting us, they were helping the sick. Uh, so this year, more than any other year, it's exciting to be able to host uh, approximately 1,000 first responders to the River Parade. And the Cavaliers can't go it alone, so they team up with several community partners. Methodist Metropolitan Hospital is sponsoring this year's first responder party. This is actually uh, sponsorship number three, uh, of th third year that we've uh, been a sponsor in this capacity and we've always been involved. It's super important to every single one of us to work here at Metropolitan to be involved in our community and the culture in our community. Fiesta is a big thing in San Antonio, everybody knows that. So for us to be a part of it, we feel honored. And for those who can't make it to the party, they'll just take the party to them. There's always somebody stuck at the station on shift, right? So we like to be able to provide them their own sort of fiesta and take them a gift basket to where even if they can't make it to the parade, we can bring the parade to them. And of course, we cannot thank our first responders enough every single year, but especially after last year. And there are plenty out in the crowd here tonight, making sure everyone stays safe because, of course, things feel a little bit different out here this year. It is a uh, sweltering yeah. fiesta. There is plenty of confetti. Uh, there are also, there are sweat towels. Sweat if towels. we're, we're going to be really honest, there are sweat towels. But that's not stopping the party. And Adam Kasky is somewhere you know, out getting things started. And he's got the cannon. And the thing about it is that convention is going to be a little sticky this year, <laughs> but it's going to be no less fun. <laughs> we've, got, we've got the canyon, the casquerone. We're going to get this going, get the kids excited, get the confetti going. I don't want to do it too soon. You know, you can't do it too early, too soon. you got to wait for the right time, play the windage. I know my exact spot. It's so good to have all these people together. We don't even have to all wear masks and stuff. I know, right? Like, does this feel awkward I standing so close? I forgot Absolutely. what it was, but I left something. Social yeah. right here. <laughs> all right, we got Chief Charles Hood here, David Elder, of course, with El with Texas Eats. Elder's Eats, he just he does the food show, <laughs> the big time want, food show. Yeah. All right, y'all are judges, Absolutely. so you'll be up on the stage. What are you looking for in the floats that'll stand out the most? Well, you know, I think the first thing I'm going to be looking for is music. Sure. I want to be bopping like something like this right now. So music, 
excitement or enthusiasm in the crowd and then what the props look like on the boat, the costumes and stuff like that. So uh, it's going to be fun. We're excited about it. Yeah, I'm big on the costumes, you know. I think it's going to be a big thing out here, especially this year. How are you going to adapt to this cold weather that we have right now, you know? <laughs> Funny man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, I think the costumes are going to be a lot of fun, especially since we've had a long time to plan for this. So those costumes better be rocking this year. Now that is a valid point I didn't think of. Because <laughs> I was thinking, nah, nobody believed we'd actually have it, so I'm probably ill-prepared. But you're right, we've had time to plan. All right, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to see them up on stage, and they'll be judging and doing their thing. And all the festivities are about to kick off. <laughs> Viva Fiesta! Yeah! Oh, don't worry, I got my holster. I got my holster. <laughs> all right, Adam, thank you very much. Thanks to uh, Chief Charles Hood and David Elder. You know, I am kind of worried about one of these floats coming by with maybe some food on it, what the reaction would be from David Elder. Oh, if well, there's a you little, know, you know, he is a good judge. Or something. He is so, a good judge yeah. of food. That's a job I never envy any but single year. How will he judge it? That's true. we got to wait and find out. We'll yeah. see what the results are at the end of the night. Of course, all of this, this entire event, is brought to you every year, minus that break we took last yep. year, with, by the Texas Cavaliers. So who are they? What do they do? Take a look. During Fiesta, many of you may recognize those men in the unmistakable blue and red uniforms, the Texas Cavaliers. They're part of a civic organization founded in 1926, made up of local prominent civic and business leaders. And we were founded to honor the heroes of the, of the Alamo, promote cordial relationships with the United States military, continue the tradition of horsemanship during the advent of the automobile, and more recently, uh, we formalized the uh, Texas Cavaliers Charitable Foundation, whose mission is to support local children's charities. One of the most visible ambassadors of the Texas Cavaliers during Fiesta is King Antonio. And this year, it's Philip Peacock Backy, King Antonio the 98th. Being King Antonio is a pretty amazing experience. Uh, you realize that people are very attracted to the uh, to the uniform and to the mystique of who King Antonio is. In 1989, the Cavaliers founded their charitable foundation to help local children's charities. Everything we do is about being out in the community, providing uh, funds to our children and the various charities. So whether it's through financial giving, through volunteerism, or even serving on the boards of some of these charities, there are very few of our members that aren't involved. One of the largest fundraising events for the Cavaliers is the River Parade. The history of that parade dates back to 1941, after members of the Texas Cavaliers traveled to Mexico and saw beautiful boats and barges richly decorated with flowers. They brought that idea back to San Antonio to celebrate the newly renovated Riverwalk, and so began the tradition of the Texas Cavaliers River Parade and putting on one of the most unique parades in the entire United States takes hundreds of volunteers. Getting the barges ready, getting the motors ready, so that every river parade goes off without a hitch for the entire city to enjoy. And we think it's over 12,000 uh, volunteer hours every year go into the river parade. And every year, the parade has a theme chosen by the Cavaliers. This year's theme is 2020 vision, so we wanted to uh, focus on the vision of our foundation, the vision of different uh, different leaderships, in leadership in San Antonio, as well as the visions of our charities that we support uh, that are helping and healing children in San Antonio. Absolutely incredible organization. Coming up in a few minutes, we're going to have the opening ceremonies. We will hear from King Antonio, the 98th, and then it's the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. The crowd is filling in. We'll be right back. It's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. Welcome back to our KSAT 12 live coverage of the Texas Cavaliers River Parade down here along the San Antonio Riverwalk and the Arneson River Theater. And as you know by now, the Texas Cavaliers, they don't just work hard to put on this event every year. They work year round to help kids in our community. Last year, of course, was a very tough year for everybody in 2020. However, the Cavaliers managed to award a record two million dollars to children's charities all over San Antonio and South Texas. It's all about offering them hope, healing, 
education. It's offering protection, friend, love during a historically challenging year. And it's also made possible because of all the donors and all of the sponsors, patrons, and the volunteers. They make a huge contribution every year to our community. So how exactly will that money be used? Let's take a closer look at the money raised and how it will go to honor this year's charitable honoree. One example of the work the Texas Cavaliers do year round to help local kids achieve. Last year was a watershed. We gave out $2.1 million just last year alone to approximately 70 charities. Uh, including the zoo school, which was our charitable honoree for the River Parade. For about six or seven years, I put all of my focus, all of my time, all of my energy into making sure that my son wasn't forgotten, which is the Will Smith Foundation. Uh, I believe that people that um, are familiar with, with the foundation and the types of things that we do feel Will's love. With this large donation, Susan Naylor, the founder of the Will Smith Zoo School Foundation, and the Texas Cavaliers are able to educate kids on a new level of learning and put big smiles on some little faces. We were beyond excited to find out that we were going to be the charitable honoree of the Texas Cavaliers this year. And between the Cavaliers fundraising and Susan Naylor's match, they raised and donated to Will Smith Zoo School $1,050,000, the largest gift that they had ever given. The Will Smith Zoo School's unique institution of learning has also become a model for other nature-based preschools around the world. Will Smith Zoo School is a nature-based preschool, actually the largest nature-based preschool in the country. And what we do is teach children um, really twofold. One, we're getting them ready for kindergarten and beyond. And two, we're teaching them how to be stewards of the planet and the next generation of conservationists. So the children here spend 70, up to 70% of their day outdoors. They get to go to the zoo every single day and they're really learning through nature. The Texas Cavaliers donation will open doors to other kids wanting to explore nature at the Will Smith Zoo School, a gift that could make a worldwide impact for our next generation. We have students from over 50 different zip codes going to this school, and what this gift will allow is, our goal is that 30% of the children that come here are able to come on tuition assistance through our endowment, and this gift is gonna help that happen. But what uh, has happened here at Will Smith Zoo School with Susan Naylor and the Cavaliers and the community that has come together to make this happen has been the most special thing I've ever been a part of. Um, you know, we have hundreds of kids coming to school here each year who will go out into the world and become the next generation of conservationists and spread that message to their parents and their families and friends. So the impact here and the impact of the Cavaliers donation reaches much further than the property lines of Will Smith Zoo School. It will be a worldwide impact for generations to come. I think one of the things that stands out about these Cavaliers is they're from San Antonio. They live here. They're a part of this community. Most of them born and raised here and maybe went off to college, but a lot of them have come back to be a part of this community to raise this money and help take care of these kids. And we got some of the young ones here with us uh, here tonight. So Wave. Wave. When we come back, Wave. we're going to meet some young artists with here. big ambitions. You need You're one of watching. these, don't you? What happens if I crack this on your head? The Texas Cavaliers Wave. River Parade. Tonight's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. We want to take you to one of the most significant and special moments of this parade every single year. The 4th Reconnaissance Battalion, the military kicking off these festivities. Every time we are down here along this parade route, so significant for Military City USA. This is the Military 4th Reconnaissance Battalion. They fight all over the place from Houston, Texas during Hurricane Harvey to the sands of far off Iraq. The battalion traces its roots back to the formation of the 4th Marine Division back in World War II. The storied sands of Iwo Jima, where the division first fought. And the sounds that you're hearing accompanying uh, their procession along this parade route, the United States Army Drum and Fife Corps, they are a, a, an incredible, really kind of paying homage to, to a time long ago. If you could see them, you know, they're decked out. They're some of the they're over our shoulders. They've got the drums. They've got the traditional uniforms. And bless them for being in that <laughs> in this South Texas heat. They actually, 
They sound fantastic. And, of course, we are, as Myra said, in Military City, USA. You can't really start a parade without the military leading the way, as yeah. they often do. They have a presence throughout the evening here tonight. Okay, now we want to introduce you to some elementary students from each city council district all around town. Each year, they are part of an art contest. They submit their artwork uh, to be featured on the parade program. And the winner this year, of course, has to be representative of tonight's theme, 2020 Vision. And we just happen to have the front of the parade. I'll hold that up so everybody can see it. We also are going to be featuring the 2020 Art Contest winner. They'll be recognized tonight, but both Art Contest winners will receive a $5,000 award for their local school art program. Tons of prizes, plus both are going to be riding a barge with the Grand Marshal Susan Naylor this year. It is a big deal because of some big talent. Take a look at the grand prize winners. It's my great pleasure to announce this year's Margaret Casillas Student Artist Grand Prize winner, Isabel Martinez. And the prize goes to Emily Gael. Congratulations, Emily. This is our 17th year of the art contest. We're giving away $46,000 uh, to area schools divided by council district. Uh, the 11, 11 council districts, so we give $3,000 to the uh, winners, $1,000 to each runner-up, and then $5,000 uh, to the grand prize winner. Winning this large sum can help young artists reach their dreams, like this year's grand prize winner, Emily Guile, who's already preparing for her dream job. I really want to work for Pixar. Um, I want to do cartoons, so... That's one of my dream jobs. And when kids have big dreams, they need a lot of support and funding. That's why the Texas Cavaliers Charitable Foundation continues to help children's charities and their programs. A lot of times teachers pay for supplies out of their own pockets. Realizing this years ago when this program was founded, we wanted to have a way for the teachers to be able to buy supplies for their art program. A program that continues to help young artists build a brighter future, which someday could be picture perfect for them. We have over a thousand entries, uh, and these are the ones that have risen to the top. Uh, we love putting these kids in the spotlight. They deserve it. Their art is unbelievable. We just think it's good for the community, uh, good for the art programs, and great for the kids. That's our focus is putting kids uh, where they need to be. We congratulate all of these talented winners and fantastic job on all your hard work. So, Myra, you know what's going to happen in the near future, right? What's that? You're going to take your kids, I'll take my grandkids to a Pixar movie, and Emily's name is going to show up on the credits. <laughs> Emily and Isabel, you guys have a yes. bright future. Congrats to all of the finalists and the grand prize winners here tonight. We are just getting things underway. Crowd still coming in, taking their seats, getting ready to finally welcome back a parade for Fiesta 2021. We'll be right back. It's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. And welcome back to our coverage of the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. You can see the crowd is getting larger as we get closer and closer to officially kicking things off here tonight. And one signature of this event every single year is the pomp and circumstance that really is such a showmanship for the Texas Cavaliers. You won't see this anywhere else in any other parade in any other city across the country, and probably in any other country across the world, because this is strange. Strictly San Antonio is what we're about to witness. The uh, arrival of King Antonio, the 98th, Philip Peacock Backey. And, of course, they will walk across the bridge. And you know what? i got a feeling that the... Uh the drums are indicating that uh, the king is, is on his way. I think so. I think we are just seconds away from seeing him arrive here. And it really is such a unique event if it's not something that you have seen before. So let's listen in and let's watch the arrival of King Antonio the 98th, Philip Peacock Backey.
the first float of Fiesta 2021. You see King Antonio there waving to the crowd. And David, we were just talking about how the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps really sets the scene yeah. here. Absolutely beautiful. And for him to come in to the, to the playing of the drums there, it's, it's just absolutely incredible. King Antonio Philip Backey is a seventh generation Texas. We told you these guys come from around here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he's a seventh generation Texas, a long tradition of service to the community, the Lone Star State, the military. Phil is a member of the prestigious order of the distinguished quartermaster for his lifetime service to Fort Sam Houston military members and their families. He went to Texas A&M University at Kingsville. And there he, of course, King Antonio every year, escorted by so much of his family. Uh, as they he, he makes his way through the crowd, he'll cross that bridge, head on to the stage here at the Arneson River Theater, officially get the parade underway. And this has to be such a significant moment for this group that had to cancel everything last year, then postpone it, and then get us to where we are today. It means a lot for us to all be out here. It's been a long two years, and then, but but yet it feels like we have never really left. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it, when I you do. think about how long it's been, then it, it starts kind of registering. But if you just remember two years ago, we were doing this, and, and here we are back doing it again, and and it, it just it's. It's, it's comfortable. It's just fun. It's Did just you say comfortable? Comfortable. Biggest difference? It feels a tad different than April. Well, Am I right? <laughs> the sun's going down. We're good. It helps the confetti stick, like you said. All, All right, right. Let's get over to Adam Kasky, who's uh, got some got some yeah. fun going on over there. Yeah, I'm right here by the bridge. We're right behind King Antonio there walking up, and I'm here with Vincent Dawson. Now, tell me a little bit about the Sabres and the tradition here. Well, the tradition actually started in the 1920s. Uh, we were like horsemen at the time and we we're trying to save the horses for uh when the automobile showed up so we turned around and as the years have gone by you'll see that the people who are doing the saber are former kings and uh so it's, it's become quite a tradition we actually wanted to you know pay attention to our military and make sure that we took the military and gave them the exaltation that they should have awesome so everybody up here with the saber all former former kings all former kings right and it's, it's, it's fun, you know, we've, we've been around and look at them, everybody I think is having a great time. We've missed Fiesta. We've all missed it, and it's so good to be back. Thank it you, is. Mr. Dawson. Thanks, I appreciate it. And back to you all over there. Great insight into that ceremony. Now we're going to listen to the uh, – well, before we listen to the ceremonies, we're going to go to break. We'll have the ceremonies for you as they get set up on the stage. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. Beautiful wife, Tonight, Corey, Texas for Cavalier. almost 32 years. And the commander of the Texas Cavaliers, a man who's had the toughest job in the last 24 months, my great friend Bart Simpson. And his beautiful wife, Marnie. Got my day aide, Wendell Hall. And his wife, Susan. Trey Steves, my night aide, and Megan. Guitar Joe Calvert and his beautiful wife, Rhonda. It takes a village to, uh, to, to put on the, uh, the Fiesta Week and, and uh, the Castle Group, and I couldn't do it without these, these guys and their wives. It's just a, a, a team effort, and uh, it's really fun when it all comes together. So I want to uh, recognize uh, Paul Roffs, our parade marshal. There's Pablo. And his, and his wife, Helen, who's... Got to have the patience of Job. I'm going to share with you all. I had a dream about six months ago that this uh, parade marshal is literally and started and stopped four different parade dates. So I knew he was got to, had to be a little stressed out. So I had a dream that he was so stressed he had two more kids, and he's already got four. And I told him about it. He laughed. And he said, "Don't tell Helen." Anyway, come on up here, Paul. It's my great privilege to uh, bestow upon you the highest honor of the Cavaliers Award, the Red Plume. You've earned it. You. 
our parade marshal, Paul Roffs. Thank you, King Antonio. After working thousands of hours, our team of Cavaliers is ready to deliver a fun, memorable river parade. This parade couldn't happen without the volunteers laboring, motors, generators, refurbishing barge fleets, as well as selling tickets, medals, program ads, sponsorships to underwrite the hard cost of the parade. These men have missed family, work, and personal obligations through the past 26 months, and they deserve a huge thank you for a job well done. I also want to thank all the many generous community partners who have underwritten and supported right the back. parade. We couldn't have done this without you. One name rose to the top. Susan Naylor Sellers. Her vision for children's charities made her the logical choice for this year's parade. Thank you, Susan, from the bottom of my heart for your continued generosity towards our community. We couldn't imagine a better Grand Marshal after a year defined by community resilience. You represent all that is great about this city. San Antonio, please join me in welcoming this year's Grand Marshal, Susan Naylor Sellers. Aloha, everybody. Aloha, everybody. I am so honored and humbled to be here today before you. Um, we were all hoping for Tony Parker, and those are very big shoes to fill. But I'm going to do my best. Um, I, I'm very poignant on, on the theme here, which is um, 2020 vision. And I, I, I established the Will Smith Foundation 14 years ago when I lost my little boy, Will, in a horrific car crash on a vacation in Maui. And I would love to take credit for my vision, but it was his vision. It was um, the Will Smith Foundation benefits children. Our mission statement is to provide, just like the Cavaliers, to provide positive life experiences for children. And the mission statement is very broad. As long as we're helping children, we're happy. So teaming up with these guys three years ago has really helped my mission move forward and helped Will's vision move forward because this was Will's vision and not mine. I was left here to carry it forward and I intend to keep doing my best. These guys have helped me so much and um, I'm so proud of them and I'm so proud to be here today to party with a purpose. So Viva Fiesta! Yeah! Well, I know everybody's ready to see a parade. Okay, King, let's do it together. All right. Viva San Antonio! Viva, viva Fiesta! Fiesta! And viva, viva the Texas Cavaliers! Cavaliers! There's the conclusion of the opening ceremonies. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to show you all the floats going down the river for the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. The excitement continues. Stay with us. Tonight's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. Welcome back, everyone. We are underway now. The parade has officially started for 2021, but we still got 2020 vision thanks to the Texas Cavaliers and the festivities that are getting started here this evening, all to benefit San Antonio kids. King Antonio has just left the premises. He's just <laughs> left the Artisan River Theater. So he's going down the river now. And uh, actually, you, you can't see it from this shot, but the river is lined with people. Everybody was excited about the river parade actually being live. You could come down and enjoy the river and enjoy the parade. And I can tell you they're three or four deep just around the corner where King Antonio is gone. So uh, people are enjoying the festivities once again. It's nice to be able to be to this point where we can all get together and do this after the last year that we have all lived through. And it certainly means something to be here uh, tonight. That's what I mean by comfortable. 
Okay. It's, it feels comfortable because all our friends comforting. are here. The, the rest of it may not be, but right. that's the beauty of us doing this so that we can bring it to you from the comfort of your own home or wherever it is that you are watching. Speaking of comfortable, Adam Kasky is always comfortable in settings like this. I am right right by the bridge here. Oh, actually, here comes the float right now. There we go. Grand Marshall's float. Susan Naylor Sellers coming by. We get the close-up view right here of her very colorful float that's coming by. Behind King Antonio, you've got the Grand Marshal. And I may or may not be charging up my confetti cannon to maybe uh, get the party started here and get the celebration going. The music's starting to kick up. People have been excited. And now that the sun is lower, the breeze has shifted a little. And you see when, when the breeze moves, everybody just goes, ah. <laughs> true. Ah. So very true. Did he fire the cannon? What happened? Did I miss it? He's charging, charging it, it up. up. Oh. Here we go. I'm going to hand this microphone off to Sal. OK. But you know what? Go ahead. David Sears is always charged up. So we are good <laughs> to go for the evening, everybody. The first float coming down here, of course, the honorary Grand Marshal, and also the winners of that art contest for 2020 and 2021 that we talked about a little bit earlier. Emily Guile and Isabel Martinez, both on board that float tonight. And that is a theme throughout this entire evening, a tribute to children, a tribute to all the organizations that do so much to benefit kids in San Antonio, to really fill a need in our community. And a huge part of that is being able to rely on organizations like the Texas Cavaliers uh, to help provide them charitable donations to make their missions possible. I'm trying to get an idea of what kind of art Emily really is into, so we'll know what kind of movie she's going to be a part <laughs> of when she goes to work for Pixar. I, it's, you know what, San Antonio, we're very, very lucky because we have kids from all over this city who are incredible with their minds and their talents of art. And there goes Adam Kasky. Uh -oh. I hope he's, is, is he, he, I've never he's, seen Adam Kasky not charged up. I don't know what he's He's the grown up kid in go. the group. Here we go. Here go, we go. go, please. There we go, now we gotta go. Oh wait. Viva Fiesta, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, now it's a party. Now it's a party. The confetti gets people going. It's not a party, a party until you have confetti. And then look, the kids always pick up the leftovers and keep it going. Keep it going. Sorry about your drinks, folks, but keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, later on, they won't know. I just love to see the kids always have fun in the confetti. It's, you know it's, what? it's a gift that keeps on giving. And, and I know that that means something to you, Adam, because being able to fire off that Canyon de Casquiron is something you've wanted to do for the last year. So we're happy that it's you were out here, the Canyon is out here, and this crowd is out here with us tonight to get things underway. We got a quick break to go to. We'll be right back. Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. Welcome, welcome back out here to the Artisan River Theater. I am Myra Arthur along with David Sears. We are feeling great about being here tonight, despite the heat. Yes, we know it's hot, of course. It's San Antonio in June, but it can still be a party in San Antonio in June. And that's what we plan to do here tonight. The only Fiesta Parade of 2021. So this means something, y'all. Yeah, and we have had to wait two years for this parade, so I guess we can wait a little bit longer for another float. <laughs> In the meantime, I want to tell you that we know that uh, Chief Charles Hood is one of the judges, and our own David Elder is one of the judges, and they described earlier what they were looking for in these floats. That's right. They talked and about the costumes. There's all the judges right there. And you know, David Elder made a point. We've had a lot of time to prepare, so I think his expectations are pretty high. You've got representatives from the Children's Hospital of San Antonio, also part of the judging here tonight. Uh, the chief of the San Antonio Fire Department. As each of the floats pass by, they will use those score sheets in front of them to do their best to judge who should come out on top here this evening. And that's something that will be revealed later on uh, as we go on throughout the night. So a tough job ahead, but it's not too tough for these little ones. They look like they are having a fantastic time. And that is the whole point Look at all evening. these! Look at all these kids behind us. Of course, there's no school tomorrow because they're out of school. So that's an advantage of having this in June, right? Because these kids don't have to get up and go to school tomorrow, so that they can stay true. up all night. So you know what? We're gonna have a little fun with the kids. Y'all ready? 
There we go. Hey, it's Nogak. Cannon Cascaron. All right, we but can't it, be left out it's here. What's, it's what we got, so we don't have to charge these up. We just let them fly. <laughs> We're still waiting on the on the on the float. You want one? Here, have that one. Here, take that. <laughs> Now we're having a good time. Here we go. Oh, you, by the way. You know, there is so much history Oh, y'all want some medals? Okay, we got medals. Now be careful throwing those medals, David Sears. I'm not going to throw the medals, right, Myra. Just, I mean, I'm just letting okay, here everybody we go. know. Here, I it's can't go for Here. <laughs> Who wants a weather authority medal? There we go. Here, I got more we of those. We got some actual KSAT ones here, too. <laughs> I got KSAT. I got, med I got medals like you've never seen before. <laughs> here you go. Every one of y'all, get a medal. Grab this a medal. A, this is a job that Sears looks forward to every single year. Everybody gets a medal. Making friends. I got more medals the tiniest guests in the crowd and we're so happy to have them out here this evening who needs a medal here i gave you I, I tell you what i'll give y'all a big thank you if you'll take some of those to the crowd and hand them out what do you think take some of those to your family and friends over there in the crowd and hand them out can you do that and it looks like all right as you wrap up that very important <laughs> duty oh wait i'm not done yet okay oh. now i'm done <laughs> he says he's done no, no, no. <laughs> well, There's minute. definitely more where that came from because we're just getting started with this parade. We've got one of the first floats coming around the bend here underneath that bridge behind us. And let's take a look at the party that they are bringing here tonight. Okay, this is the Will Smith School operated by the San Antonio Zoological Society, the largest nature-based preschool in the entire country. Once again, San Antonio does it better than anybody else in the country. Fully licensed preschool. They use nature as to integrate thread tying together the school's philosophy. The school is named in honor of Will Naylor Smith. We heard about him. He opened up his heart to the world and loved animals and the great outdoors. The San Antonio Zoo is such a gem in our community. It's a place that my family goes to quite often with our little ones. We love to be able to have that space it, to go check out some some wonderful animals and some great programs that they have there as it, well. It might have been stated earlier, but uh, just to repeat, back in September, the Cavaliers presented the Will Smith School with a check for $1,050,000, the largest single grant in the foundation's history. Tell me we don't love our kids and our animals in San Antonio. Huh? You bet. We're rolling now. Uh, We're rolling now. <laughs> Party with a bus. So, Go uh, ahead. you oh. know, a lot's changed in the last year, but David Sears dance moves, those you can count on to stay the same. <laughs> And I had two years to work on them, too. You, I wouldn't want you to change a thing, okay. Sears. Well, I did. You do you. You stay just <laughs> the way you are. Let's take a look at another float that we have coming up here behind us, making its way underneath that bridge. This is another float that represents a great cause in our community, the Fiesta Ambassadors. Uh, they are some of the signature players in making this event happen. They represent the five military service branches at Joint Base San Antonio and promote the military's commitment and relationship to local communities, fostering positive community relations. The Military Fiesta Ambassadors hold the position for one year, attend pro Fiesta events, as well as full slate of activities during Fiesta. They will also continue to represent the military at the events that take place afterwards as the Fiesta Commission gets ready for next year and there is going to be a next year you bet there is let's take a listen to the band on board this is 35 to nowhere of the 323rd united states army band
Fort Sam Houston is home to the U.S. Army North and U.S. Army South. Two Army commands responsible for land defense of the entire Western Hemisphere, as well as for leading the Department of Defense's support in national emergencies throughout the region. We got to talk about the name of this band. It's one of my favorites of the whole night, the Biohazard Brass Band. Take a listen to that. We will be right back. Tonight's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. Welcome back, San Antonio. Take a look at the float coming underneath the bridge right now. The Order of the Alamo, founded in 1909. And One of Fiesta's oldest in. organizations. Local businessman and native San Antonio, John B. Carrington, founded both the Order of the Alamo in 1909 and it just so happens that he founded the Texas Cavaliers back in 1926. One of my favorite parts of this event every year, seeing those gorgeous gowns. And on board this float, Claudia Ludeman Kilbasa, Queen of the Order of the Alamo, and the Court of America, the Beautiful. And you know what? They can move in those gowns, which is even better. They didn't show us their shoes, but one of them has on tennis shoes. I caught a glimpse. Did you see that? And I appreciate that. You know how I love some tennis shoes with a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Tennis shoes with a dress, and they didn't have their boots, I guess a little hot boots. You know, so, yeah, it's a tad warm. Right. It is. That's all right. That's good. All right, here we got Air Force Band of the West. One of my favorites every single year. Let's listen to them. Are they a great band, but they also send out a great message. They'll go to different dances, they'll play receptions and shows, but they also have a message that tells kids to stay in school and say no to drugs. band play some good music and they're <laughs> into it. They're having fun, you know? You know, that's oldie but goodie, right? That is an oldie but goodie. That's good, that's good stuff. <laughs> All right, here we got the USC services participating in today's parade. Rear Admiral Cynthia A. Kuner, Commander, Naval Medical Forces Support Command, and we also have representatives of more than 8,000 active duty and reserve sailors and Coast Guardsmen serving in Military City, USA. Love to see the crowd give our servicemen and women a standing ovation, and I love that every year they are the very first floats that come down this parade route. 
Next up is the Battle of Flowers Association, and their theme is Vision of Spring. Look at how gorgeous that float is. Full of color, I full of light. I think they're representing that season well, even here in the thick of summer. Battle of Flowers, you know, is how this entire thing got started. <laughs> 1891, the first Battle of Flowers parade. That, no pun intended here, that is the roots of Fiesta and how all of this blossomed. And that is pretty much their objective. They love to teach the history of our state and keep the patriotic tradition of San Antonio, Texas alive. And they love to dance to the village people. dance in that song. Tell it. There's people at home right now dancing in their living room. I promise you. I hope so. Some people have got up off the couch and went, I'm going to do the YMCA with these people. You know what? That's the point of us bringing this event to you. If you can't make it down here, we hope that we can give you the whole vibe of the night. The sounds, not so much the sweat, the comfort of your own home. <laughs> And yeah. coming up here... Look at those beautiful children. I'm telling you, the Fiesta, Fiesta children. children. Texas Cavaliers proud to present, of course, their 76th River Parade. And tonight, the participants rep uh, represent a collection of local nonprofits, civic organizations. And this group may be some of the most excited of yeah. the folks. And, and, they're, and they're being very well behaved because... <laughs> the uh, Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar is on that float, so they're not going to get away with much, are they? You know what? I think he may let a few things slide <laughs> on that float here this evening. That's what it's all about, isn't it, the kids? You bet. We got to take a quick break. And we will be back with more floats, more fun from Fiesta 2021. Tonight's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. And welcome back to the Texas Cavaliers River Parade on the San Antonio River. You can see the mayor along with uh, members of city council coming through on the next float. And we just wanted to uh, mention once again that uh, Fire Chief Charles Hood is one of the judges of these floats along with our own David Elder and Jenny Reeves is also on the stage judging these floats. And by the music that some of these bands have been playing, especially some of these military bands, they got their work cut out for them. And we've already seen some very well decorated floats and many, many more to come. And we're seeing some new faces on this float because of course, just in the last couple of weeks, we have welcomed several new San Antonio City Council members. And uh, of course there at that helm is re-elected Mayor Ron Nirenberg. And I'm sure this moment has to mean so much for him as well as all of the representatives there on that float for the work that this city has put in to get to this point, to be able to be here tonight. It has been a long, long road since this pandemic started a couple years ago or a year and a half ago. And now here we are finally getting to have this parade once again. So you know they're, as you said, very much enjoying the, the opportunity to be on, on that float and enjoy this uh, parade once again. Speaking of parades, how about the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association? <laughs> Speaking of parade, that's what we'll be doing here all night. <laughs> the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association. Of course, there is not a flambeau, unfortunately, this year. You know it had to be heartbreaking for them to cancel, but they are still in the spirit here tonight. They have been honored to be named the best parade in both Texas and the world in its budget category by the Texas Festivals and Events Association and the International Festivals and Events Association. Once again, I point out 
of Great San Antonio is worldwide. Gardenia and the Musical Club. Their theme, Vision to Believe in Fairy Tales. They were founded back in 1960. Been a participant in the River Parade since the very beginning. The main objective of the club is to further interest in the fine arts to promote friendship within the membership. And they look like they're good friends and having fun. <laughs> And on board their float tonight, they have the Guitar Dojo Band. I can't get enough of these band names. I gotta say them. Did you, did you see what I saw as they went by? What was that? They were like, that, those are like young people. Man, it's not like it's not like a bunch of old guys that have been playing guitar for like 30 years. No. They were like young people. They're, they're like real young people. The Look dojo is up and coming. And they're, they're jamming. Wow, that was impressive. Let's like take that. a look here at this new float. And look who's on board. Former Congressman Will Hurd, the Alamo Trust. Vision of a knockout is their theme. Of course, the Alamo Stands is a shrine to Texas liberty that we all know pays homage to the heroes of the 1836 Battle of the Alamo, such a defining moment that we are all familiar with in Texas history. And we have just begun to fight. This is a great parade, and we are just getting started, literally and figuratively. We'll be right back with more of the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. It's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. We are seeing plenty of floats, and those are the people with the tough jobs tonight, the float judges. They're on the stage here. 2020 Vision, the theme of tonight for today, Texas Cavaliers River Parade. We have seen so many beautiful floats already come by, but the night is still so very young. Yeah, the Cavaliers decided that they wanted to use last year's theme with this year since we didn't get to have last year's parade. So that's why it's still 2020 vision. And boy, were their vision great. Looking back and looking ahead. You bet. And take a look at who is on board this float here, Fiesta San Antonio Commission Royalty. These young women represent five of the seven official Fiesta Queens. There is Miss Fiesta, Fiesta Teen Queen, the Charo Queen, Queen of Soul, Miss Fiesta San Antonio Chaperone, we should note, as well. Those crowns, oh, those crowns. They are fantastic. Next up, coming under the bridge, the children of the Republic of Texas. Their theme is Vision to Rock and Roll. Now, they were chartered way back in May 11th of 1934 at the Alamo, the Alamo Mission Chapter, Children of the Republic of Texas, the very first children of the Republic of Texas chapter that existed. Members encouraged to study Texas history. Their motto is not for self, but for Texas. I love that. Amber Nicole. 
Nicole Borman on vocals. Can we go back for the oldies with goodies right there? I knew you were going to love She's that one. Cranking that How out. How can you not love that song? Love that stuff. That's a classic. Oh, look, coming here, we've got the Order of the Alamo 2021 Court of Parisian Splendor. Good thing, because I wasn't done looking at the crowns. Wow, that's a lot of crowns. A lot of beautiful hardware there. They look like they are having a blast. Elizabeth Grace Huey is the 2021 queen, and the princess is Hannah Elizabeth Backey. And if you like those dresses, you'll be able to see them up close and personal at the Witty Museum. That's how special they are. could hear that at home. David and I did not want to talk over that. The entire crowd was singing along with them, as well as all of those ladies on board tonight. A lot of their families are here in the Artisan River Theater in the crowd celebrating with the young ladies and singing along with Whitney Houston. The next float coming through is the Sunshine Cottage float. Vision of Bravery is their thing. They are an auditory, auditory oral school that helps children with hearing loss learn to listen and speak. They opened the doors for seven students back in 1947, and now they serve 700 children and their families each year here in San Antonio. They got the Hulk on board. They got Iron Man on board, Ooh. Superman. Vision of bravery, indeed. The work that this school does, I have heard so many. Oh, Wonder Woman, can't forget her there now. There you go. I have heard so many anecdotal tales of how important this school has been to countless families in San Antonio whose children have hearing loss, and they, they find a home here. They find resources here and help here, and it just means so much for those kids to be able to have that resource to help them grow and achieve all that they can and more. All right, David Elder, he's on his phone. No. Uh -oh. There's no cheating in judging. No. He wouldn't be cheating now. Probably would he? ordering food or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so. That sounds like something you two would work on together. Um, well, he got, orders. I eat. You got tacos coming soon? Maybe so. All right, well, just share. That's all I'm well, saying. We'll have enough for everybody. <laughs> and the Fiesta San Antonio Commission Executive Committee floats on the way, established in 1959. How can you have a uh, Fiesta if you don't have a Fiesta Commission? That's right. On board there, right in the front, we have the Fiesta Commission President, Baltazar Serna. You know, I did an interview with him a couple of weeks ago, and I asked him, what is this moment going to be like for you when San Antonio's Fiesta gets underway? And he said he thought he might actually cry just because of the stress of all the last year and finally getting to this point. Well, after everything that we've been through, 
shed a tear, my man, because it's all working now. <laughs> it's all going. Might be a sweat running out his cheek. No, you never, you never get to. Hey, DJ Fernando Hot Mix Hernandez is spinning the ones and twos. Coming up here next, take a look at this. I already like it. The theme is vision of rainbows and unicorns and bubbles. This is the Children's Bereavement Center. They do incredible work here in San Antonio. Their 22nd year of service in our community. Their long-term vision is that every grieving child in South Texas would have access to competent, compassionate care when faced with the death of a loved one. And they have done some significant work over this last year. They provide direct service for over 1,600 individuals. 6% of the children are between the ages of 3 and 24. And they've got the crowd jamming now. When's the last time you heard the Macarena? We didn't get to see you doing it, though. You were doing the Macarena. When's the last time you did the Macarena? Do you know, you know how to go, do the Macarena? Here we go. All right. Ready? Ready? I, don't, I don't remember this one very well. It's not a line dance at a country place. <laughs> Do we still have it? Somebody tweet and let us know if we still have Actually, don't do that. I'll tell you what, don't though. Don't tweet and let us know if we still got when it. When you look at that float, look how well decorated that float. That's absolutely a gorgeous float. Those it is a gorgeous are gonna float. Those judges are going to We've seen some incredible floats. How can you not have fun with rainbows and unicorns? Coming up uh, yeah. here, Methodist Healthcare System. Round of applause for this float. healthcare system has played in our community as well as all healthcare workers across the San Antonio area and beyond. Hats off to them. The Conservation Society of San Antonio. You can see their float coming up under the bridge right now. Vision of Home is their theme. They were founded back in 1924 by 13 preservation-minded women. The Conservation Society of San Antonio is one of the first community preservation groups in the United States. And of course, Night in Old San Antonio is the event that they put on every single year. Niosa, Niosa, wherever you stand. Oh, don't go down that road. Hey, wherever Myra. you stand on that good old debate. I'm just glad we're having it this year. It's you know what I mean? It's Niosa. Niosa. I'm with you, Niosa. All we know is it's a party for four nights straight. It's a party, it it's fantastic, party. it is so much fun for our community. And you know, it's a big fundraiser too. And so it's great to see that they're, they're able to, to hold Niosa. I call it, I've been, I've been here for a few years. I call it Niosa. It's I'm okay. with you. You can do that. That's all right. It's okay. You know, and, and the or this organization, the Conservation Society, they do so much work to preserve, preserve historic areas, historic places in our community, historic traditions, and that really is such a key part of this city in general, the history that we have here and how it continues to live on. We still have a lot more ahead. Stay with us. We'll be back with the Texas Cavaliers River Parade from the Artisan River Theater. Tonight's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. 
Welcome back. Things are rolling here on the river for the 2021 Fiesta River Parade with 2020 vision. And we have some of the most significant royalty coming underneath the bridge right now. The float representing the Ray Fayo Scholarship Program. Ray Fayo, 72nd. Thomas R. Aguilar, the People's King for Fiesta 2021. Members of his courts are on that float. Way back in October 2018, Thomas surpassed the goal to raise $250,000. She did it by raising $272,772 in scholarships for local deserving students. And since 1947, over $8 million has been raised, <laughs> awarded to over 5,000 students by the Ray Vale Scholarship Foundation. I think somebody we know pretty well contributed to that confetti. <laughs> That look like the Cascarone Canyon or Canyon Cascarone. Oh, you know what they're doing? They're doing a little disco. I I hear ya. you. They got some moves on here. That's Visit San Antonio Riverwalk. Vision of the disco floor is their theme. with a giant disco ball. I, you, you got it. I mean, you know. One of the keys to is, success. That is a huge disco ball. <laughs> All right, coming up next here, we have One Hope for Kids. Their theme tonight, vision to hit a home run. They want to strike out foster care. One of the largest foster care and adoption agencies in Bear County. Their mission is to rescue children from abuse and trauma, help them provide them with a safe place when their lives have been turned upside down to no fault of their own. Yeah, the key objective of this organization is to provide quality supervision, care, and support for the children in the foster care system, physically, emotionally, socially, and spiritually. Great organization, great work they do. But once again, the kids here at San Francisco. You notice that's two discos in a row. I don't mind it. I love it, actually. Man, oh man, this is great <laughs> stuff. All right, coming up next here, we have the Ray Feo Consejo Educational Foundation. Vision to celebrate a new year. I think that is something that we can all relate to. Wow. After 2020. 2020. <laughs> yeah. The Ray Feo Consejo Educational Foundation, a membership organization of business and civic leaders who uphold the Ray Feo tradition and support the program's fundraising efforts. As former kings, they've contributed to the $8 million raised for scholarships since 1947. I mean, 
got to do what you got to do. You do got to do what you got to do. And we are having a fun time just right along with all of these groups. We hope you are too. Like David said earlier, get up, dance in your air conditioning. <laughs> For the rest of us, please. I will say this again. I've said it once, I'm going to say it a bit. I have missed this. Oh, have I missed this. Just being out here. I don't David. care that it's this hot. I mean, yeah, we're sweating. Yeah, it's warm. Who cares? This is the Texas Cavaliers River Parade like none other in the entire world. And it's right here in San Antonio. And man, oh man, this is awesome. You know Just what? love being out We'd here. We'd be sweating in yeah. June anyway, yeah. so we might as well have yeah. some fun doing it. Right? Right, right, right. Yeah, you know, we got a sweat towel. We got a little. Oh, drink hey, we, here. we haven't done this in a while. Oh, okay. Good. Are you good? good? Are they good? <laughs> oh, it's not over yet. There's plenty more where uh, that came from. Uh, like, well, oh, you know what? You missed one. Ooh, Opera San Ooh. Antonio. Change of pace here. Look at those gals. <laughs> A different look for tonight, but a beautiful vibe they have going on. Their theme is a vision to travel. in which we can go from disco <laughs> to opera That's and not miss a beat. I mean, my jaw was hanging open there for a second. That was just, that was unbelievable. That was On a beautiful. barge in this weather and cranking that out. That is absolutely, you know what? What's I show you? San Antonio has culture. We've and we got, got the a, arts. We, we have a lot opera. of talent got, for sure. We got it. Kids serve two military children of San Antonio. On board, Brigadier General Laura Linderman. The riders on this float representing the 35,000 plus military affiliated kids in our area. This one hits close to home. Son of a career Air Force man. I understand what it's like to be one of those kids who travel around the world with their dad or mom in the military. And we know that the kids and the families of the military members sacrifice just about as much as the military members do. So we definitely appreciate those families that allow us to be guarded by their family members. Let's hear it for these military.
band, joined by San Antonio Districts, members of the band, they are educators from local base districts. Girls Inc. of San Antonio, Vision of the Night Sky, our next float. They inspire our girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Girls Inc. of San Antonio helps girls ages 6 to 18 overcome barriers and prohibit them from achieving their personal educational and career goals. It's a great organization with a mission put into practice by providing year-round holistic compensatory and intentional programming. They focus a lot on STEM, which is fantastic for young girls, certainly more females, always welcome and needed in that field. Tell you what, Myra, you watch, you watch all the people on the floats with all this great music that we're listening to, the kids and the adults just dance away. You look out here in the Artisan River Theater, we've got adults and kids standing and dancing. It's like we have been itching for this so bad over the last two years without it finally getting this river parade back and these fans are up and down the river of all these folks on the margins. It's just absolutely fantastic having a beautiful time. It's so nice to feel normal, right? <laughs> A word we won't take for granted after last year. Normal. Normal. It's good to feel normal. Trinity University, our next float vision to celebrate. One of the oldest premier liberal arts and science universities in the country. It's known for challenging and supportive academic environment. A 50-year reputation of excellence. Trinity's Healthcare Administration Program has produced over 1,800 leaders who can be found working in hospital systems all across this country. And their vision to celebrate includes celebrating those frontline workers exemplified on the float, but not only their faculty, alumni, but also representatives of the five hospital systems we have in our community, which have played such key roles over this last year and for years and years before that and more to come. We have more to come here. We're going to dance you right into another break, but gonna, we'll be back. Yeah, we'll take a quick one. We'll be right back with the 76th Annual Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Tonight's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. And welcome back to the Texas Cavaliers River Parade, the 2021 edition Absolutely fantastic parade so far. A lot left, though. Krista Santa Rosa and the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. Their theme, Vision of Story Time. In 1869, this is a fantastic story. The first three nuns from the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word came from France to San Antonio, answering the call to open the city's first hospital. And it has such deep roots in our community, provides an incredible service from, for not only kids in San Antonio, but throughout our region and beyond. Stephen James and the Jaded, the band on the float. Let's listen in for a second. It's a beautiful stage. Oh, yeah. You know what? David Sears is laughing at me off camera, but I am not afraid to admit that I like some achy, breaky heart. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. My achy, breaky heart. Just don't think you understand. A little the Billy Ray there. <laughs> Oh, this parade is fantastic, isn't it? Next up here tonight, the San Antonio Council on Alcohol and Drug Awareness. Their theme is a vision to learn. They serve children through prevention, education, skills training, presentations, alternative activities, all to keep them away from drugs and alcohol. 
Yeah, that's a bunch of happy people on that float. All right, we got a little bit of a break in the action here tonight. I'm wondering if we have Adam Kasky because he has be, never. I can, I can be ready. He's never taken a break in action as far as I've known him. So I know he is out and about. I have seen, uh, you know, check, his check, check, check. personal he's, he's supply there he is. of confetti he's in, flying so. across the river. Well, yeah. So let's let's he's, go to Adam and see what he's up to. Oh man, it's just one of those one of those evenings of fiesta the confetti just sticks all <laughs> over you i mean you can't i'm loading my cannon i go to shake somebody's hand and it's just full of confetti i'm like well that's me you got me <laughs> good to meet you yes it's good to even chat with some of the texas cavaliers everybody is just so happy to actually be out here talking to some ladies who are like we've sweat through everything whatever we're just happy to be here we're glad that we can do this once again. So everybody's in an extra cheerful mood compared to even years past because of what we've been through. And that's what I love about the spirit here and everybody's mentality. So Adam, I take it that they don't mind getting confetti in their drink or stuck to them on their head. <laughs> they were high-fiving me, fist bumping me, and thanking me. <laughs> they will probably take some of that home and save it because yeah. it's been such well, a trip. Well, it this is to hard get to get rid of every yeah. year, but this year, you're right. Adam's right. We all have, I think, a deep appreciation of being able to be out here together. Next up, this float here tonight, Catholic Charis Charities, rather, the Archdiocese of San Antonio. Their theme is a vision of space exploration and the mission of Catholic Charities to provide for the needs of our community through selfless service under the sign of love. They provide over 40 bilingual and culturally sensitive programs in 19 counties throughout the Archdiocese of San Antonio without regard to gender, race, creed, religion, disability, national origin, or socioeconomic status. We got some aliens on that, on that float. Vision of space exploration. Yeah. Planets. Oh, they're hard at work. Yeah, look at them. Keeping score. So once again, it's Chief I'm, Charles. I'm Hood, telling you, the chief, chief. the chief looks like he's yeah. got his mind made up. <laughs> I don't know. He got a few floats to go though. <laughs> he's having a conversation. And then we've got our own David Elder on the stage from Elder Eats. I see Richard Perez on that float. He's the president and CEO of the San Antonio Chamber of Commerce. He was, of course, a city council member for a couple of terms from South Sand High School, homegrown. 2007, he became the 18th chamber president and CEO, and he's been taking care of San Antonio ever since. And you know, in line with the theme of the music they had as they went by there, you know the chamber is wanting a win for the San Antonio economy mm. after this last year and so many businesses uh, still being affected by this pandemic, but hopefully back on track, getting things going once again. There are so many opportunities for kids and families to come and enjoy San Antonio. So many different things to see and do. So hopefully this summer will start to turn things around a little bit in the hotel and some of the restaurants and yes. some of the other places that, uh, that families can enjoy here in San Antonio. And you know what? In the middle of June in San Antonio, why not think about Christmas? Family service representing the vision of Santa's workshop. It's a nice vision to have out <laughs> here in this heat. Well, think back in February. Maybe that'll Ooh, help you, uh, yes. you know, enjoy this float a little more. Nine degrees, 13 you know, wind chill factor, minus 13 wind chill factor. Uh, that week in February felt yeah. like we were yeah. 
in Santa's workshop. Yeah. But, uh, you know, without power and water for some of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this isn't too bad to think about in the middle of June. We got to take a quick break. We will be right back with so many more festivities, floats, and fun to be had. Stay with us. Tonight's Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle. Okay, this is the sororities float. The theme is Vision to Sparkle, but just listen to the music real quick for me. Does it get any better than that on the San Antonio River? You have to have that every year. And just to, you know, to increase the theme, we've got David here in production who was doing a little, he had a little Tina Turner vibe as that float went by with a headset and all. It's fantastic. The sororities, they, they're part of the D9 or the National Panhellenic Council and Sigma Gamma Rho Alpha Kappa Alpha sororities, Delta Sigma Theta, Zeta Phi Beta, historically African-American collegiate-based organizations all focused on sisterhood. Some famous members, Vice President Kamala Harris, show Cheryl Underwood from The Talk, Aretha Franklin, Barbara Jordan, Shaka Khan. Maya Angelou, to name a few. Seat Home St. PJ's Children's Home. Vision of Ancient Rome is their thing. Some Kasky confetti there. Oh, it's coming our way too. Real quick, the Seton Home works to break the cycle of abuse and poverty by providing a caring home, education, and support services necessary to transform the lives of pregnant and parenting teen mothers and their children. In the care of the Seton Home, mothers and babies receive comprehensive case management, safe shelter, compassionate counseling, quality of education, and school readiness to strengthen and empower families for a safe and secure future. They do some incredible work. And I hope everyone saw some of the little guys behind us. They have been dying to be on TV all night long. Zapato's vision of the finish line. And when you run races, what do you wear a lot of? You got to have some good shoes. Thousands of area children have received school shoes because of this organization and its legendary founder, Gloria Clement Martinez. While she was undergoing chemotherapy, she had an epiphany that there were probably many children who had never had a decent pair of shoes. So she launched this organization in less than five years. And before her death in January, she realized her initial goal of providing over 10,000 pairs of shoes to our city's most vulnerable children. And if they sold a pair of those giant shoes in the middle there, I'd buy them. I could check. <laughs> they also team up with the San Antonio Police Department, have for many years uh, to host a drive for shoes for people to contribute and help the kids that officers so often come into contact who need a good pair of shoes. All right, coming up next is a float representing the UT Health San Antonio vision for a healthy eating, but of course they have had their hands full over the last year and a half oh, for yes. two years taking right, care of guys, San Antonio during this pandemic.
expertise and the help that those at UT Health have provided this community over the last year, not only providing health care, but answering so many of the questions that we have had about COVID-19, about this pandemic. It's hard to think about where we might be without having that local resource here. So hats off to all of them and so many of the health care services and systems we've seen represented here. During our 6 o'clock show on KSET 12 News at 6, we've had a lot of Q&A sessions with folks oh, from yes. UT Health San Antonio. And they've been inundated with questions, especially about the pandemic, and, and they have taken the time out to answer all these questions so that people in San Antonio can understand exactly what they're dealing with. And they did an incredible job of coming on TV and, and explaining all that. Dr. Ruth Bergman, I'm thinking about you. <laughs> all right, coming up here, Beethoven Manicor. They are having a blast. Vision for Speed. Founded in 1867, the oldest German singing society in the western U.S., located in the King William District. Coming up next under the bridge, the San Antonio German Club Vision for a Cure is their theme. The German Club formed back in 1880 by a group of single young men, first known <laughs> as the Ascension Club. The name was changed in 1890 to the San Antonio German Club, following the popularity of a ballroom dance of the era called the German. Since the time of its inception, with the exception of those years interrupted by war, the San Antonio German Club has presented its debutantes during San Antonio's social season. Is there a social season like year round in San Antonio? Is it, is it just like we socialize like all the time? We always got something I mean, going San on. San Antonio so uh, does love in any kind of party, but a party with a purpose that may be the best kind. We got to take a quick break. We got more coming your way from the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Stay with us. I think somebody ba, caught me ba, singing. How can you not sing along with this one? We have City Gear on board this float. Vision to be an Olympic champion. Their theme, a good one for 2021. Founded back in 1988, an education nonprofit fueled by the National Service supporting high potential students in academics and behavior. They believe that all students can succeed and that developing the skills and mindsets of children and young adults contribute to strong, vibrant communities, outcomes that benefit all of us, which is outstanding. Have you ever been at the AT&T Center during a Spurs game when they cranked that song oh, up? Oh, yeah. 18,000 people are singing that. Why is it always so good at sporting events? Baseball games? That's a good question. Whoever Staple. thought Neil Diamond would have a song <laughs> played at big events like that? But it's a great song. Gets the fi fans fired up like they got like here in the river. 100 Club of San Antonio. Of course, they provide countless services to the families of fallen first responders across Bear County. 100% citizen based. They are unaffiliated with any police, fire, governmental agency, but they are there when the families of fallen first responders need someone most. And new for this year, a four-year, $500,000 commitment to over 8,000 local, state, and federal first responders are serving our citizens for the 100 Club SA. Every year, of course, they do a huge spaghetti dinner, which is its a fun event. It's a way for so many people to come out and give to the 100 Club and those families. I like the lights under the bar. Isn't that cool? You like that, that is nice. Yes, San Antonio Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, America's first Hispanic chamber, celebrating its 92nd year of instilling a culture of excellence within our beautiful city. 
The Hispanic Chamber, non profit organization, served the small business committee in San Antonio since 1929. Considered one of the best run chambers in America, of course. And we thank them for it. The band on board, the Campanas de America Mariachi. These floats have to be some of the best that I can remember in terms of the decoration. The spirit is the same, which is a wonderful thing. There are always a ton of groups coming out here looking to have a good time. But the themes of these floats, the, the way they're decorated, uh -huh. that seems to be really impressive this the year. The judges are going to have a heck of a time trying to figure out who the winner is who's put together the best float. I'm telling you, and don't, another don't thing along with, with, along with how beautiful the floats are is the music. We've had opera. We've had mariachis. We've had disco. We've had pop. We've good had old, good, good old, old stuff. Roll. We've had country and western. Yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus, but, you know, country and western. <laughs> <laughs> All right, University of the Incarnate Word. Of course, so many of us know who they are. UIW student leaders and members of the UIW homecoming court on board here today. Located right in the heart of San Antonio at the headwaters of the San Antonio River, where all of this river magic begins. By the way, their coach on their football team, former Texas Tech Red Raider. Oh. You want to throw, throw that out there? Just, just. All right. That band on board, another good name, Fool in Utopia. <laughs> you like those band names. I love a good band name, you know? Okay. I want to, I want to see if we could take a picture of the, of the, take a shot of the river again for us. Just take a shot of this river, if you don't mind. Directing from my chair. Okay. <laughs> because the next float is the San Antonio River Authority. Right? Ah. Vision to catch a big fish. And if you look at this river, nothing like it in the world. The San Antonio River and what they've done in the extension going north and what they've done with their extension going south. And to have floats going down the river, barges and bands and parades like this. So the job of the River Authority Created in 1937, they are to preserve, protect, and manage the resources and the environment of the river and all of its tributaries. Yeah, she catches a real fish. I'm going to really be surprised. I What's think she would, too. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. But they're one of the main reasons why we have such a beautiful San Antonio River Walk. That organization, and we do have the exceptional San Antonio River Walk. Look at, look at this, look at, Chief Hood looks like he's sweating a little bit trying to figure you all know, this out. I, I said maybe he was calm, cool, and collected earlier. <laughs> I don't know. He, I think he knows he's got a tough job along with the rest of these judges. Okay, SJRC, that is St. Jude's Ranch for Children. Vision of the three-point line. You can see what they're shooting for here. Oh, yeah. They are formerly known as St. Jude's Ranch for Children. Healing and hope to children and families affected by abuse, abandonment, and neglect. They care for children within the foster care system and truly help them to heal from trauma that they have experienced. They also have a new division called Parenting and Prevention. It's a new department out there, and what they're trying to do is help educate parents on how to become better parents, both men and women. Matter of fact, they've got a fatherhood initiative going on throughout the summer. So it's great to see reaching out to the community and trying to help mom and dad become better mom and dads. And I think so many parents would agree we all need a little help sometimes. It's turned out to be a beautiful night here in San Antonio. You can see some of the chairs starting to empty out. David and I are convinced people are up walking around. 
looking for a breeze, <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to see when and where you could find one. And I do not blame people. This fan, this may be me from now on. I just stroll, into the, with just stroll into the newsroom, right. fanning myself Works. for 2021. Hey. <laughs> Coming up in just a few minutes after the parade is over, we're going to have the post parade party. Right. It's an SA Live special, and it's going to have Mike Osterhage and Fiona Gorst. These are going to be hosting it, so stay with us after after the parade. We're going to have the I'm winners sure of the floats. Well. They'll have the winners of the floats on right. SA Live. I thank you for that. I appreciate that. You know, I'm just sharing his care. Texas A&M University, San Antonio, vision to appreciate art. Check out that suit jacket. I like it. They are celebrating their 12-year anniversary in our city. If you want to see her pick her shoes, make some noise right here. You want to see her shoes? You want to see her shoes? Come on. Oh, yeah. oh ho, ho. show me your shoes. There we go. Oh, were those high tops? Might have been. Woo. I'm going to see those again. Let's see if we can get her. We got a right here. I'm waving really hard. You can't see me. Did you catch the DJ's name? You like I did these not. band names? Ah. Of DJs? I'll let you take this one. <laughs> tonic. DJ Tonic. DJ Tonic. There you go. What are good names on these floats? Up next, you see some four-legged friends. They're on this float, Guide Dogs of Texas, vision to catch a wave. They were established in 1989 with a mission to increase days of freedom, mobility, and independence for Texans 17 and up, impacted by blindness through days of guided dog sight. Provided by the professionally bred, raised, trained, personally matched, certified guide dogs. I've been fortunate enough to go over to their offices when they welcome some new puppies. Oh, oh my goodness. It's, it's, it's interesting how they, they um, take the puppies and start training them and then they go through stages to see if they can continue on or if that puppy just doesn't have the demeanor and the personality to be a guide dog. Right. So, but they kind of eliminate them as they go along the way and then if they're just fortunate enough to be a guide dog, they keep them in. And yeah. it's, it's a yeah. serious yeah. training. Personally, with each recipient is so cool. Still got a lot of little faces out here enjoying the night because there's plenty of confetti, plenty of face paint, plenty of medals to go around. It has been a fun evening here in San Antonio. We are not done yet. There's your judges, Jenny Reeves, David Elder, and Fire Chief Hood. So good luck to them trying to figure all this out. <laughs> they got their work cut out for them tonight. Huh? Just, they just thought they were going to come out here and enjoy a parade, watch the river parade. Yeah, there'd be a couple of floats coming. No. Little, uh, little did they know. Little huh? did they know. This okay. is an incredible night. Reminder uh, to us next year, David. Okay. We need to get one of their score sheets so we can see yeah. exactly what they're looking at. See if we agree with them. I don't know about that. I don't want the position of judge. I am happy right here where I am. I'll leave it up to those folks. But I would like to see what the criteria is, you know? What they're looking at? Sure. This is the Alamo College District River Barge, Vision of Peace. Of course, a lot of folks have gone to one of the five colleges in San Antonio. Northeast Lakeview College, Northwest Vista College, Palo Alto College, St. Phillips College, San Antonio College, the largest provider of higher education in this entire region. Coming over to the 
Bridge is the UTSA, University of Texas at San Antonio. Let me tell you about a, a few of the uh, folks on there. Frank Harris, Shirts Clemens quarterback. Sincere McCormick, preseason second team All-American from Judson. Rashad Wisdom, the safety, and the head football coach, Jeff Trailer. question, David, but are uh -huh. you ready for some football? Oh, you bet. You know, training camps open up next month, and then August is not far from around the corner, oh, and then September, ready. here we go, baby. Now, you said something earlier, and it had to be incorrect. That's the last float? That's it? That's it. Now it's time for fireworks how, and a post -party. How did we get here so quickly? I don't know. It was awesome. This is this was it. Unbelievable. You know, you've got to talk about all the work that the Cavaliers put in to get this thing together with the changes of times and the changes of, of uh, opportunities that they had to move and this and that and all the mess that they had to go through. But there's your, there's the end. Now, we still, it's not the end. The end of the floats. Okay. But we got something coming up. We got some fireworks. Okay. Good, good news, everybody. The, uh, <laughs> was the it, fire chief is on stage. I'm glad he's up there. That was a rather large boot right there. As All we get right. ready to take you to SA Live, Mike and Fiona, we just want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. What an incredible experience. It's been a long time coming, but we had a great time here tonight. We hope you did too at home. That is the grand finale. It has uh, it's it has been a while, a long road to get us to where we are now. But we're so thankful that we could bring this celebration to you, that we could have this celebration in general. So thanks for being with us here on KSAT and on KSAT.com. On behalf of myself and David Sears, it's always a pleasure doing this with you every single year. We're going to send it now over to David and, or excuse me, to Mike and Fiona for their special. We leave you in the hands of SA Live after a successful 76th annual Texas Cavaliers River Parade. One more time. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta!